guys and welcome back to the channel. It is a noisy day to the start of this video, but we are at Redemption Racing and Garage right now. We're helping out my friends over at Champion Car Company. You guys have seen them on the channel before. But uh, this is their new Focus RS getting custom tuned. We're gonna see it on the dyno and then I'm driving it from here back to the dealership. So definitely check out Champion Car Company's website down in the description below. This car will be for sale. Definitely check it out. And as I'm gonna find out in today's video, it is gonna have some serious power and be a heck of a lot of fun to drive. And then shout out to Redemption real quick for uh, custom tuning it, getting this car set up to be perfect. So we got this sick Focus RS on the dyno. Let's see what kind of numbers we're looking at. I think roughly it's gonna be 400, but I'm not too sure. And they have ZR1, Supra, Evos, STIs everywhere. So definitely a sick, sick shop. But now, let's see what kind of power this thing's making. Focus is making. So what kind of power are we looking at? <laughs> 341 and 394 torque. 341 horsepower and about 390 wheel torque. There's a good shot at it. All right guys, so you may have noticed on the dyno the rear wheels were not spinning. I just talked with Elijah. That is part of the car doing a dyno run. So no worries there uh, when you're dynoing the all-wheel drive car. Using the cob, you just disengage the rear wheels because over like 80, it goes to front-wheel drive anyway, apparently. So Focus RS, that's how it's gonna be dynoed. But those are the numbers. Shout out again to Redemption, tuning it, getting this thing ready. Uh, this car only has a downpipe, an intercooler, and then it looks to be a cat pack exhaust. So stock fueling and everything like that. So pretty simple, mild build. But now, as he gets it off the dyno, let's drive it around and then head back to the dealership and see what this car's like. Hi right, guys, so I'm now in the Focus RS heading back to Champion. Real quick, if you notice any dirtiness on the glass, they just had the window tint removed. This car they just got in, so it hasn't been detailed or anything. But I used to work at Champion and the detailing is amazing. So this car will be insanely beautiful when it's all cleaned up. But let's get a little bit of a feel. I do 
like how if you buy a Focus RS, you're still getting just a normal hatchback, you know, a five door, I guess we'll call it, and you have plenty of space all around. You can easily fit things in the back. <laughs> but then if you're tuned, you got some mods too. I mean, you, you now have a sports car that is actually a lot of fun to drive. So why would somebody buy the Focus RS over the competitors? I guess the main competitor really would be the STI, the Subaru. Uh, while they don't make the Focus anymore from what I understand, technically a newer STI is the closest thing as far as a similar year vehicle you can get. The Evo is a little bit older. I guess the Volkswagen Golf R is probably the other good competitor with the car. Actually, we gotta make a little bit of noise. between some bricks to make us uh, echoes but I guess the Golf R might actually be the closest competitor that thing is more of the European version of this even though this actually is a European vehicle I believe this is built over in Europe somewhere but you definitely get a lot for the money I'd say and on the used market you can check out the listing down below from Champions website not a car that's gonna break the bank at all we only have 38,000 miles on this car and I mean it's a reliable car it's gonna last you this EcoBoost engine really isn't anything too crazy. They've used it in a lot of other vehicles, especially the EcoBoost Mustang. So it's an engine that I think you can safely have. And I think it's a car that you can definitely use for many, many years. If it's gonna be just your only car, your fun sports car, your daily driver, whatever it's gonna be, you can kind of do a lot of different things in a Focus RS to where it can be your only car if you only have space for one. And then like I said earlier, with the practicality, it still has all that good stuff. And then as far as just some of the creature comforts, this has the sunroof on it, heated steering wheel, the navigation, all that kind of stuff. So it still has the luxury tech that you're gonna want in a more modern car. And then I do like how you have the gauges up top, you have a boost gauge and oil temperature and oil pressure. Very important to have that oil pressure gauge. You definitely want that in any kind of sports car. So let's uh, turn air conditioning back off and go back to the track mode setting get an acceleration at this red light but so far cruising back to the shop now in the focus rs you know they're nice cars the last time i drove one it was a bone stock car and i was pretty underwhelmed with it in all honesty i thought it was not that fast and a lot of people said it's way faster than i said it was but it didn't really feel that fast still of course what i'm used to i mean this isn't the fastest car out there obviously i have a gtr <laughs> but i do like how with at least a tune you do feel more of the power and it feels much better than a stock one and this still has room for improvement with bigger injectors bigger intake and things like that so let's see second gear that's really quick it's still not a fast car but of course i'm biased with what i'm used to but that is a quick car like that moves pretty well that was like 20 to 60 on one gear change so it's a car i mean you can get some power out of it it has launch control and all those sorts of things and uh, i would say if you do have one of these definitely pick up the cob access port i'm sure there's off the shelf tunes even if you're not local to any tune shops get that do an off the shelf map and even just stage your car with those maps when i first started doing the tuning on my gtr i did the cob access port and i did the off the shelf map for stage two which was just bigger intakes and a mid pipe and that ran really really good and then now that i've done more things i've been custom tuning with the data logging all that sort of thing so i like how with the cob it makes it a heck of a lot easier to mess with this car and any kind of turbo car that's stock there's so much room for improvement right out of the gate <laughs> Get a lot out. Yeah. 
think it's a very well worth car to buy. So if I were you guys, definitely check out the link down below to Champion Car Company. As of right now, they have two of these Focus RSs, a bone stock one, and then this car. Definitely check them out. Awesome pricing, and this thing is gonna be cleaned up perfectly when it's on their website. I know from experience, they have amazing cars. I bought both of my 370Zs from them, and they helped me buy my GTR, which is super cool. So shout out to Champion Car Company for kind of giving me the keys to the car, letting me come here, pick it up. We filmed a video with the Jeep that Mike is in right now. That video will have already gone up. Check out that one in the description below. The guys at Champion always have the sickest selection of premium pre-owned vehicles, sports cars, luxury cars, lifted vehicles, anything you want, they can get you. And then Redemption Tuning, the tune's running really good. This car, yeah, it packs a nice punch. Definitely woke up the Focus RS to be a really, really fun hot hatch. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a thumbs up, smash that subscribe button, stay tuned for plenty more content to come. And I will see you guys next video.